Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another van update video. If you guys have missed any in the process of this van, you can go back and check out a playlist and see all of what we've done so far to get to this point. It has been a little while since we've done one of these. I think since I did the fold out table here. And so a few things have happened since then. Uh, so first thing we did since then, we went ahead and got the back doors panel which wasn't horribly hard. Just had to kind of cut those curves for where it sits against the seal, make sure it's not hitting the seal and blocking it. I also went ahead and put on a couple of hooks at the back there so that way I can hang up those fold out tables I have, get them out of the main van space, out of the way, and then they're just back there if I need to grab them, as well as getting that fan cover put on, which that was probably the hardest part of the whole thing was getting that to fit in right, but I think it came out real nice. We went ahead and did the burn look on it, and I, like I said before, I wish I would have done all of the wood in here like that, uh, but I didn't. I went ahead and stained some of it, like you can see behind me, but I think it looks kind of nice having the mix of the stain and the burn wood. I think it goes together pretty well. So along with paneling the back doors we also went ahead and just recently paneled the sliding door same kind of thing wasn't horrible to do just getting those curves right around the seals and also around the door handle that was a little bit more of a pain in the butt it was trim a little bit off try and fit it in trim a little bit off try and fit it in but it worked out well and it's insulated behind the back doors and in this sliding door so a little more insulation in here should help out a bit uh, so like the back doors they are screwed in right into the metal, into like the metal frame. The sliding door as well, because we had to take the sliding door and do it in two separate pieces, there's actually a board behind, so that way the two pieces light meet up just right. Another thing to definitely watch out for, when you're insulating the sliding door, don't shove the insulation in behind the metal too much in some places, especially at the back right, because that's where the latch is for the door. I accidentally slid a piece of insulation in too far and it hit against the cable and knocked out the uh, little hook that holds the cable to that latch there. So once I closed the door one time and then it wouldn't open again. So I had to take the panel back off, take the insulation out, get that hook back in there, which you don't have a whole lot of room to do that. So yeah, definitely watch out for that. The next thing I did, I went ahead and built this shelving along the whole back of the van here. And uh, worked out really nice. As you can see, I've already kind of got it full up with a bunch of stuff. Also with that shelf installed, I went ahead and threw up some more puck lights. These are just battery lights. Uh, they, they get pretty bright though. I threw a couple underneath of here as well. Uh, just for a little bit of extra light. Those lights are real nice for like at night if you don't want to have the real bright light on. You can turn those off. See I'm sitting in here like playing a game or something or watching some YouTube or whatever. Kind of nice like relaxing dim light. You can also, it comes with a remote, so you can turn these off by remote, turn them on by remote. You can also change the colors, so you could do like a brighter white light, you could do kind of like a yellowish light. This is pretty cool though, they're like color changing too. So they got like all the RGBs. You can have them flipping through like all the different colors. So it's kind of cool. I'm actually thinking about maybe getting a few more of them, putting up a few more of them in some different places. But anyways, I think that just about does it for this one. It's kind of a shorter one. I mean, there was a couple steps done, but nothing super crazy. Just finishing touches at this point. And now honestly, this thing is ready. I could just take off and take it on a trip if I wanted to. I've got everything I need in here. The final kind of thing, we'll be figuring out how to close in those spaces like that. And uh, these ones back here as well. Kind of trying to figure a way to get those covered up. Otherwise, yeah, that's it. But anyways, guys, that does it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Helps out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos, possible streams, things like that. If you're interested in helping support the channel, you can become a member. It's only 99 cents. That'll get you a bunch of cool perks. Another great way would be checking out some merch. Got some really cool hats and shirts, stuff like that. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.